let us study the next roman number roman number 3 solve four students can sit on a bench how many benches are needed for 64 children to sit okay so four students can sit on a bench so in one bench four students can sit so how many benches are required for 64 children so the first sentence will be students in one bench it is four right therefore benches required for 64 students okay so what you have to do is you have to divide here so 64 divided by 4 4 how much is 64 so first consider one number 4 how much is 6 you know that 4 ones are 4 6 minus 4 is 2 bring this 4 down 4 how much is 24 so 4 5 is 20 4 6 20 4 4 remainder is 0 so the quotient is 16 underline the answer see the next problem 240 candles are arranged equally in eight boxes how many candles are there in each box so there are 240 candles arranged in equal in eight boxes so there are eight boxes and the total number of candles is 240 so you have to find out how many candles are there in one box okay how many candles are there in one box so candles in eight boxes how much it is 240 so therefore candles in one box so what you have to do 240 divided by 8 so 8 how much to it is not possible so you have to consider two numbers here 8 how much is 24 8 ones are 8 8 twos are 16 8 threes are 24 so 8 threes are 24 So subtract here. Four minus four is zero. Two minus two is zero. So I told you in the previous sum, if zero remains here, if you bring this zero down here, there is no value. So you have to take this zero here. Okay. The answer is thirty. So in one box, thirty candles are there. Total in eight boxes, there are two forty candles. Two fifty-five children went on a picnic. they travel in five buses how many children travel in each bus so one school children went to a picnic now there were five buses and total number of children were 255 so you have to find out in one bus how many students are traveled so you have to write the first sentence children in in Five buses. How much it is? Two fifty-five. Then you try. Therefore, children in one bus. So it is you have to divide and find out the answer. Two fifty-five divided by five. Okay. So five. How much it is? It is not possible. So you have to consider two numbers here. Two how much five how much is twenty five 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 is twenty five so subtract five minus five is zero two minus two is zero so next bring this five down okay bring this five down five how much is five five one is five so five minus five is zero remainder is zero answer is fifty one so in one bus there were fifty one children. 
so remaining three problems you have to solve by yourself on to the next exercise exercise 6.3 find the quotient and the remainder in these so see the first problem 76 divided by 6 so see the table 6 ones a table 6 how much is 7 6 ones a 6 right so subtract here 7 minus 6 is 1 bring this 6 down so it will be 16 so 6 how much is 16 Six two is a twelve. So subtract six minus two is four. One minus one is zero. So the quotient quotient is the answer that is twelve, and the remainder the remaining is four. You can't divide it further because six is smaller. I mean the four is smaller, six is bigger. So you can't divide it further. So four is the remainder. What's the next problem? Ninety three divided by eight. So eight, how much is nine? Eight ones are eight. Subtract, we'll get one. Then bring three down. Eight, how much is thirteen? So eight ones are eight. You write zero here. Subtract three minus eight is not possible. Bring this here. So Thirteen minus eight. Thirteen minus eight is five. You cannot divide it further. So the quotient is eleven. Remainder is five. See the next problem. Three forty-five divided by five. So when you consider three, it is not possible to divide. So consider two numbers. Thirty-four. Five. How much is thirty-four? Five, six is thirty. Subtract. It is four and zero. Bring five down. So five how much is forty-five? Five nine is forty-five. Subtract. The answer is zero. So the remainder is here. It is zero, and the quotient is sixty-nine. See the next problem. Nine hundred and eleven divided by six. So six, how much is nine? Six ones are six. Subtract. Answer is three. Bring one down. Six, how much is thirty? Six five is thirty. So remainder is one. Bring the remaining one down. Six, how much is eleven? Six ones are six. Subtract. You will get five as the Answer. So the remainder is five. Quotient is one hundred and fifty-one. See the next one. Nine thousand two hundred and fifty-four divided by eight. So eight how much is nine? Eight one is eight. Subtract one. Bring two down. Eight how much is twelve? Eight one is eight. Subtract. So four is answer. Bring five down. Eight how much is a forty-five? Eight five is a forty. So subtract five is a five is there. So bring four down. Eight how much is a fifty-four? Eight how much is a fifty-four? So eight six is a forty-eight. Subtract the answer is six. So the remainder is six. Question is one thousand one hundred and fifty six. So remaining problems you have to solve by yourself.